So Real Madrid have been beaten very convinc- convincingly by three goals to one in the El Derby against Atletico de Madrid. Uh, what are your thoughts on that horrific performance? I think um, it was a great game. Like Atletico Madrid was efficient. Like the three headers, it, they were amazing. Um, but Real was like pressing more. So they could have scored more goals, but we lack of a striker, so we need to get in Mbappé um, to score more goals. But yeah, I think it was an amazing uh, game, an amazing yeah atmosphere. So all of that, I'm very happy I was here. Yeah, and the atmosphere was amazing, and I think that could have been one of the major reasons why Real Madrid struggled. Yeah. They were really bad setting up the team that started was just not good enough. When Shuamani came in, he tried to change the game. Uh, what did you make of his performance? And if you were Carlo Ancelotti, what would you have done before the match? What would have been your starting lineup? Well, I would have started Chouamini straight away. Um, when he came on, he stra- strictly had an impact on the game. Like I said to my friend, I, d- I didn't know why Don Carlo didn't put him on. Um, but like maybe I would even put on Mendy inst- instead of uh, Fran Garcia. Uh, sadly enough, Carvajal was injured. Um, so maybe I would have put Nacho instead of Vasquez, um, but for the rest, I think we can't complain about our squad. It's a great team, so everybody has their qualities, so we can't um, den- deny the impact Don Carlo has had on Real Madrid. Definitely, we can never uh, judge Don Carlo's performance, but one thing I kind of felt which went really wrong was Rodrigo. Now, Rodrigo uh, traditionally is a left winger. Yeah. But he was been playing a centre forward or a right winger, and today he was playing a centre forward with Jude Bellingham. So, what did you think about his performance? And to this season, Rodrigo has not been playing great. He's not been scoring and assisting. So, what has your opinion been on Rodrigo? I think um, because he needs to adapt since uh, Benzema left, and without with, without Vini, it's really difficult for him. Um, so if Jude, Rodrigo and Vini can play together, I think they'll be amazing. You just have to like find each other a bit more and then the goals will come, I'm sure of it. Yeah. And the goals will come. Uh, we hope jo- Jose Lu gets a few goals that we have been you know, craving for. But the man who was getting goals was Jude Bellingham. He didn't have a great game either. What did you make of his performance? Yeah, he didn't have a great game, but he still fought it for uh, the team. So we can't complain about that. Um, it was a difficult game, like when he has the ball, there's like five, six athletic players around him, so it's difficult for him to create chances, um, so he has to play the ball more often. Um, but yeah, he's still a great player, and one less, a game that's less um, good um, can't be the end of him. Yeah, definitely one bad game doesn't decide. and. You know, Real Madrid, before this also, they were getting results. Like, they won 1-0 against Union Berlin, against Hetafe, also last minute by Jude Bellingham. But they were not playing great. The performance was not consistent. Was this performance something that you saw coming? Or it was just a shit performance? Well, it's always difficult in a derby. Um, Atleti has some great games as well, the um, last couple of games. So, it took... It's normal that it's a difficult game, especially here at Wanda Metropolitano. Um, so yeah, I saw it a bit coming, but I still hope uh, Real Madrid won, but sadly enough, they didn't. Yeah, sadly they didn't. And yeah, man, thank you. Thank you so much for joining us and letting your thoughts on the game. You're thank welcome. Thanks, man. Gracias.